Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to another limo video. Today, we're gonna finish the framing and then we're gonna install electrical things, lights and stuff. Um, Tyler is not here because apparently he has the Rona. I'm pretty sure he just held the thermostat thing in front of a fucking hairdryer until he didn't have to come, but fuck you, Tyler. Today, I my job is to finish this wall, to get it to get it all the way walled. We're gonna do that. Hopefully we have, have enough wood to do that. Can we go get wood? Oh yeah, it's a great day to get wood. If these are the right height, we're in business. It's perfect. This is gonna be easy. 35 inches. <laughs> bum, 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 bum. Hey, hey, I wanna die. Tyler left this handle here. One job, Tyler, to strip. The interior. What is this? Oh, we have a winner for this. Not gonna say who yet. If your name starts with a. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. It's always a good idea to nail towards you. Ah yeah. Ah. Oh. All right. Does it fit? I don't think it fits. It's this fucking handle that's keeping it from fitting, Tyler. Ah, it's screwed in. Tyler doesn't understand screws. Tyler only understands smash and pull. Yes. Handle removed. Oh, now it fits like a glove. That's like exactly where I want it. I mean, that's probably about where that goes. Speed run. <laughs> Woo! There we go. Damn, we're good. Now we need the back wall. Oh, that is so warped. Get this out of here. Boom, boom. Pow, 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 pow. Boom. Does it fit? Definitely not. She fits gloriously. Every wall frame is now complete. It's gonna be snazzy. I'm gonna go cool off real quick. See you next time. Goodbye. This video is brought to you by Raycon. Raycon's new everyday earbuds. Look, you fucking kidding me, Tangler? You kidding me right now? Have you seen Raycon Man anywhere? No, he's taking a vacation. Mm, I don't believe you. Raycon's new everyday earbuds look, feel, and sound better than ever. With optimized gel tips for the perfect in-ear fit, these bad boys will not budge. Trust me. Wow. And they offer eight hours of playtime and a 32-hour battery life. That's a long time, it's longer than a day. And the best part is Raycons are priced just right. You get quality audio at half the price of other premium audio brands. It's no wonder that Raycons Everyday Earbuds have over 50,000 five-star reviews. My favorite part about the Raycon Everyday Earbuds are the fantastic noise isolation. I can barely hear Tyler when I put these in. So Reese, about that uh, raise you were talking about, you know, I think it's, uh, it's been time for a performance review, you know, we do it every once in a while. What? Oh, huh? Nothing, I'll get back to work. Okay. Another one of my favorite features has gotta be the customizable sound profile. That way it really doesn't matter what you're listening to, whether it's a podcast, rock and roll, the screams of women and children. So if you wanna get your grubby little hands on a pair of these wireless everyday earbuds, then go to buyraycon.com slash ODS and get 15% off of your Raycon order. Yeah! Yeah! Oh boy, my electrician has arrived. Welcome. I'm here to do electrical. Why are you wearing flip-flops? I gotta air up the That's toes. not, okay. We have many things that need to be done, Kevin. I went to Home Depot and I have purchased. That's not a electrician approved. Fuck you. I gotta approve it's, it first. It's a, well, approve it. We got a switch, two switches. God. I don't know lights, about that one. Nice mm -hmm. LED lights. You just, those are $25 no. a piece. Mm -hmm. Please be gentle with them. They're, I don't know about that one. They're very expensive. I didn't I approve of this. Them. You think you can handle this? <laughs> I think so. I've got four of them. I wanted more, but they cost too much. So four is what we've what got. Talk about these are like six bucks each. <laughs> <laughs> I'm wanting one here that's gonna be above the kitchen, and then I'm right. wanting the other three, one here, one here, and one here. I mean, basically, you just have to put the wires here, and then when I put the roof in, we're, we're gonna need a converter. What? I could probably hotwire it. Yeah, do that converter. It's a converter. You can't just. You, you're trying to do 120 to volts to 24. Just wire. <laughs> 12 volts, actually. It's 12 volts. What's wrong with that? Yeah, Box. but this is 120. But a car is. 12. Well, no, we're we're going to use an Inverted. extension cord. An extension cord. Yeah, I'm just gonna have an extension cord run to the car. <laughs> okay. And that's how it's powered. 
All right. This isn't an off-grid vehicle. It's an on-grid. Yeah, it costs too much to make an off-grid vehicle, and this is just literally a rust bucket. You just bucket. need like six more car batteries. <laughs> One extension cord needs to power this entire, two max needs to power this entire car. Air conditioning, stove. Oh yeah, air conditioning. I almost forgot. It's a very small air conditioning, Ooh. so it can't take that much. Stove? Yeah, stove. You can't have a stove? Can you can't have a camper without a stove. What's oh, that? and a water pump. Amps? We'll have a water pump too for the sink. But that only runs every now and then. Oh, and I was okay. thinking a dishwasher or a refrigerator. A TV. TV. Don't forget disco the TV. Ball. Xbox One X. Ooh, disco ball. Can we run that up one extension cord? Technically, we can. Let's go! I have no idea how we're gonna do this electrical, but it would be really snazzy. If we could have another door like this fuel door, I'll just cut it right here. And then just have <laughs> and then just have this like sticking here. We so then that. when you get to the RV site, you just plug in an extension cord and, and run it to an outlet. We can do that, right? Yeah, we, we can, can do manage that. that. Yeah, it's we, just I want to put it right here. See? I'm not an idiot. I knew it would work. I also don't know if in all of the wires that we cut, one of them was the wire for the fuel pump or a wire for the taillights. I don't think we cut any of those. If we did, then I'll have to run a new wire for the fuel pump to get that to work. We don't need taillights. Hurry up. I'm trying to find grommets. We have this with the outlet plug. Oh. Sticking out of the side of it. Well, I was thinking look... more of like a flush hatch. Like I'll, I'll install a hatch. No, but what about that? Wouldn't that look great? Just dangling out is of the that, side that, of it? Is that easier? Yes. All right, let's do that. Will that extension cord work? No, no. I don't know if the, I have The gauge any. is too small. Well, for what you want. This is only 10 amps. You need like 30. You need uh, the 14 right, well, gauge or 12 we'll gauge. We'll just do that later. We have a 12 gauge. Oh, yeah, I got one by the bar. Yeah, it's a shotgun. All right, I'm going to need a lot of duct tape. I'm taping this to the inside. I have a lot of duct tape, so. So you want what? One light right here? One light here, because the sink and the stove will be there. Oh, wow, that looks <laughs> professional. It's very professional. That looks, you know, I couldn't have done that myself. See, I'm an electrician. I'm and really glad I'm paying I, you $250 an hour to do that. definitely know That's, what I'm doing. Get right in there. Yeah. Is oh, that? Turn it a little sideways. Uh, is that get maximum. up to code? Uh, yeah, it's up to code. Oh, okay. So we're good. <laughs> it's probably going to fall. Look how sturdy that is. That's not coming out. Yeah, it's really, looks really sturdy, Kevin. Looks really sturdy. It looks about as sturdy as this, so. <laughs> it's sturdier. As an electrician, I can give you some of my advice on this, and you just kind of. Uh, you think that'll fix the, the wobble? Yeah, look. I I'm need more shaking it as hard as I can, I'm... it's barely moving. All right, so that's one light installed. Yeah, there's one light, almost ready. We just need a bunch of more wires. When Tyler took out the shelf, he left the brake light dangling here. Now, every time we hit the brakes, the inside of the car is gonna light up red. Oh, there you go. That's, <laughs> god damn. <laughs> it's fixed. Now it's a restoration series. You only need one piece on that one. Like I said, we meant it when we said we were gonna try on this one. <laughs> I don't need more light stuff. Where's the rest of it? I'll grab it. Threw them all in the trunk. Yeah, cause Fuck. shit. Oh. Ah. One more ah. time. Ah. Right here. Ah. Ah. It. How does it not go through? Six times a charm. I'm ready. Here we go. This is there. it. There! Ah. God! Why are you duct taping things? That's not, I don't think you you're an electrician at all. What do you mean? Oh, it's mounted. It's mounted. That looks good to me. Yeah. All right, so when you run out of chicken cock, can you just not do electrical work anymore? Is that like? Yep, pretty much. Okay. So that's the bottom of my uh, work right here. So yeah. how many hours of work is that amount of chicken cock? Uh, one. One hour? Is there any uh, method to where you're putting that or just? No, it's just madness. Uh, that looks pretty good. It looks like you duct taped the box to a ceiling. Uh-huh. Yeah. I'm sure they're all gonna fall off eventually, and then they'll I just be resting so. on the ceiling. Uh, duct tape really sticks well to rust. I'll, I'll be working on this. <laughs> There's a hole there, though? There's like two... Uh, like rust you? holes? Yeah. I don't believe you. There is no way in hell this car has any rust. Just don't take this vehicle out in the rain. Ever. All right, I need wiring. We got green, we got yellow. Well, not yellow. We got green, we got white, we got I just black. need green. I do everything in green. Why? I'll do it Mexico no. style. No, <laughs> Temple will never know which one's which. This is some large gauge for... This will probably work. Twisty, crimpy thingies. Yeah, what, what those are, are huge. They're usually color-coded. I want orange. You got orange? So needy. Here you go. I got orange and blue, which are even smaller. You see that? You see that right there? I this no. handy thing and oh, no, it's gone. Oh shit! I paid twenty five dollars for that. Did you know? And you just cut it. Mm. It's um, 
We don't need a ground, right? Just stuff that wire right back in. You're the electrician. You should know. Why are you asking me? It's gonna catch on fire. I'm Weren't we just making fun of the limo people for using these weird connectors in a car? Weird and now we're using, well, not weird connectors, but they're not the type of connector you're supposed to use in a vehicle. The car's not gonna drive much. It's gonna drive to our first campsite and then to the scrapyard pr promptly after. Wow, <laughs> straight to the scrapyard. I'll take these lights out since they're expensive. The car has a tapeworm. Ugh. Fucking hell, dear God. It looks loose, but yeah. I gotta do Everything tape it. in here is loose. God. Here you go, cutie. You're just gonna shove the wires in it? Yes. Don't they tell us not to do that as kids? Yeah, it's all lies. There's not even any lights plugged into it. You can't yeah, test it. Yeah. Golly, I'm God. getting there. Jeez. You don't even have the ceiling up. No yet. patience. The light switch is kind of, you know, dangling by tape. Stop dismantling the fucking car. Things just keep coming off of it. But it's <laughs> like addicting. Weight reduction. Whoa! Whoa! Wait, that, yeah, that'll be a good amount of light. It's not gonna be too much. That's, that's not bad, actually. Now let's see what happens with the other ones. Yeah, these look great. I like the dangling. <laughs> yeah. Oh, look at all that light. Whoops. Damn, sun. They're definitely well spaced as well. Oh yeah, they're perfect. So now we have to get an extension cord that's big enough. Let's go, Home Depot. It's already taken over an hour. This is already longer than, Jesus Christ. 10 gauge is what you need. Really big, Kevin. $50? Oh, I think I made of money. But it has the right amps. All right. I gotta cut off one end of the your nice new cable. Yeah, I figured we'd have to cut it up. That one just looks nice and spiffy. What do you reckon? Right here? I think these are uh, mostly only for wood, but I don't have a bit this big. It'll go through eventually. <laughs> Woo! Ooh. Woo! I'm gonna spray paint it real quick so it doesn't rust. We don't want any rust on this. And I just need some paint that matches. That's <sighs> not what? It's not gonna rust now. It's uh, red for power, it's so a people know. Rust-oleum uh, means it won't rust. Yeah, yeah. There you are. that's the electric yeah. power port. Yeah. That is craftsmanship. <laughs> Holy shit, that is good. Where's that cord at? Here's your $55 cord. Is this the right side? Fifty-five fucking dollars. You just cut it off. You can just like that. Oh, it's perfect. I ran it the wrong direct direction. Get what? Well, almost, almost got it. But that way's the plug that doesn't plug into a wall. Yeah. Well, I want the plug that plugs into a wall, right? No, you need another extension. Oh. So I'm gonna need another fifty-four dollar cable. Yeah. I don't know about you, but I'm proud of this solution. This is this is a good you idea. Just, there you go. Yeah, that's perfect. And then you get to the RV site, and you can just <laughs> kind of run this out, or you, you just get, leave you it. need another extension to oh. kind of. You get to the RV park, and you plug in your. You're gonna need a suicide cable to be able to do it. <laughs> and Jalen, come in. You can fix it. <laughs> Where'd the other end go? You don't have enough cable to fix that. Look at how much I have to work with. I have plenty. I can make it work. Look at that. It's yeah, safe. What the fuck is that? <laughs> it looks so good. Wrap it in enough electrical tape. Yeah, yeah, After yeah. After you put that on there, it should be pretty it's secure. Totally... It's a $55 cable. I think people are going to start to be suspicious that you're not, <laughs> a, not an electrician. Questions. Look at that. Gorgeous. I mean. All right, let's test it out. So now when you get to the RV park, <laughs> I'm scared to plug it in because I have to grab it by your janky ass fucking repair. All right, plug it into the RV campsite. Hey, hey. lights! So it just that one. Still works. Like that's that's pretty nifty. Next time on Limo Life. It looks like every bit of duct tape he put up fell. <laughs> and got so far, but in, but in the end, it doesn't even matter. Look at that! Let's fucking go!